Mom Truth Friday. We're talking about all the different stages of the child's development. You get a book of what to expect when you're expecting. You get what to pack in your hospital bag, and then the book ends. They don't tell you what's coming. This is the underground, what to mm. expect. I'm gonna say the first stage is like the sleepless stage. Sleep deprivation is a form of torture. It's not a joke. I don't remember those times in my life. It's like I had post-traumatic stress disorder. I remember moments of sitting there in the dark in my condo when I was renovating. Sage. You are a crumble of emotion. Uh, and they cry and you bounce and they cry and they cry and you feed and you're tired and everyone's, you know, your husband asks what's wrong and you just want to rip his head off. Yeah, that's the first day. <laughs> Smolers, teeth. teeth, they bite you, they scream, they whine. That it hurts. She's like this, my baby all the time, looking to bite whoever, bite whoever she wants. That's the next stage. The moving stage, you will get really excited for the first one to walk. If you have your first baby, just you wait. Your next baby, you're gonna wish they don't walk. It is like a kamikaze stage. They basically run, run as fast as they can off ledges, off stairs, off play structures. It's not fun. You can't go to people's houses without gates because basically you just stay on the stairs, running them up and watching them run up and down the stairs. If you have a fourth baby, you let that baby just figure it out a few times, they fall, then they get back up, they don't go back up those stairs. Twos, terrible, terrible, terrible twos. Well, you know why, why you think it's so terrible? Because now they are starting to talk. They have no logic at all. So what they're saying makes no, no sense. No sense. And they want a glass of water, but they can't say water. So they just point at the whole counter like, ah, ah, ah. And then you pick up every single item to show them. And then they whip every single item that they have. They love to throw whip balls, balls all balls. over the houses. Whip it, whip hit. it, they whip love it. They to hit and bite. This Take off their own diapers and smear poop. This is the stage where you wonder if they're psychotic or have a serious mental health issue. Not lying. This is the one where you're like, uh-oh, my baby is wacko. It's no guys, surprise. Guys, it's normal. Totally normal. Oh, and then there's the three-nager. Your little person has an opinion and a Hell strong... Yeah. You weren't expecting that. You thought you'd just give a cup of juice? Wrong! You Wrong. don't just give a cup of juice. You give a cup of juice in the right cup with the right color, with the right temperature. Oh, it wasn't the right apple juice. It's the apple juice with the apple on it. Oh, they want french fries. Not that kind of way. They want them smaller, skinnier. Oh, it's got a piece of brown so on stubborn. it. So stubborn. Never negotiate with terrorists. No, and they are tiny little terrorists. <laughs> You can tiny. count on it. Violent, rude, stubborn. They're unpredictable. They have fire. And they don't give a f about you. They do. But then they'll turn around and say they love you and you'll fall in love with them again. And oh, then they'll just redo it and do it all over again. It's a beautiful, abusive relationship. It is. Let's go up to the four. You're really, really hoping that this is it. That this is your stage. It's called the f***ing fours, if you must know. Mm. That's what it's called. And they happen to uh, start like some kind of school and they go into like a program and they become the biggest jerks because they cannot handle life. They're mad at you. They're so mad. Yeah, they, they hate you. They hate you that you put them into this world and make them deal with all of these issues. They and don't. they don't want to kiss you and they don't want to cuddle you. No, they actually don't even want to look at you anymore. They actually like other people better than you and they're not afraid to tell you at four. Yeah. They basically give you the big old Mm. Yeah, then there'll be a baby so cute sometimes for a minute. Stop sucking your thumb. Get that binky out of your yeah, mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can't act like a baby. You'll find and yourself. And then tell me to fuck How off. How old are you? You'll ask. You will you will say that to a four-year-old. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. They lie. They like to lie about everything. Mm. You actually think you have a problem. Like, you actually go and research, why is my five-year-old lying so much? It's normal. Do your, did yours ever lie? Uh, not really. Just yours. Mine, constantly. Like, big lies. What are these? The sexy sixes when they start talking about their private parts? And how do you make babies? And how come daddy can see you naked? And sassy. Damn! They, damn. They, damn, they like to... They, and they will say things that will make your mouth drop. Don't you sass me. Don't you sass. You want to sass? You go up to your room and you sass. You want to sass? You go call sass Jordan. Sassy yeah. her. You know what? At the end of the day, you love these tiny people. Who the beep knows why, but you want to make another one. And guess what? When you have a whole bunch of them, one in every stage, some mornings you're just like, like this morning. Mom Truth Friday. Let's just end off on a good song. I can see what you make it last night? I know why. There was a major snowstorm outside and she can't fly in the snow. If you don't wear a ponytail to school, you'll get lice. Lice every dang day. Every dang day. Every dang. You don't want that.